37 and a half years doesn't feel like justice, but I don't know what will. Today we accept the fact that one day he may walk free again, but we never get Trinity back, and that is on him to carry until the day he dies. It has taken more than two years and a long trip through the courts, but the family of Trinity Audison Smith today was able to find some justice. The nine-year-old girl was shot and killed while at a friend's birthday party while she was playing on a trampoline. The gunman Dupree Robinson admitted targeting a rival gang member that night, but instead struck Trinity in the head. Since that admission in March, though, Robinson has fought to withdraw his guilty plea. Paul Bloom is live for us tonight. Paul, you've been covering this from day one. One Trinity's family now thankful to finally close this chapter. Amy, it was interesting. The prosecutors at the courthouse today argued passionately that this was no accident, no stray bullet, no little girl in the wrong place at the wrong time, but rather an intentional act, a conscientious gunman trying to target and kill a rival, but instead murdering a child. Chapter closed. Chapter closed, right? After walking out of the courtroom, Ray Sean Smith, Trinity's father, breathed a huge sigh of relief. What a blessing. What a blessing to have the opportunity to bring justice for my daughter. For more than two years, Smith prayed, shed tears, and never stopped fighting to make sure the gunman whose bullet killed his nine-year-old little girl was held accountable. And Tuesday, that is exactly what happened. Dupree Robinson sentenced to nearly 40 years in prison. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about her. There's not a day that goes by that I don't cry about her, that I don't pray, that one day that I will see her again. I'd give anything to have my baby back. I'm sorry for the tragedy for her and her family, but I did not have nothing to do with this, with this young girl death. For his part, Robinson again attempted to have his second-degree murder plea tossed out and instead go to trial. He and his legal team argued the 20-year-old was under the influence of strong painkillers and not thinking straight when he made a deal with prosecutors to take murder one and a potential life sentence off the table in exchange for 37 and a half years behind bars. Judge Julie Allen ruled Robinson's admission that he opened fire during a drive-by shooting targeting a rival gang member would indeed stand. Prosecutor Joshua Larson making clear Trinity's death was no accident. Trinity was taken from us because the defendant intentionally tried to kill someone. This was murder. This was intentional murder. And Trinity's family really wants the world to know that little girl had so much potential, so much to accomplish in life. They do not want her to be remembered, just as that little girl killed in the gunfire up in North Minneapolis. As for Dupree Robinson, of course, he goes off to begin serving that 37 and a half year prison sentence. We presume at some point this issue over his guilty plea will end up at the Court of Appeals. Reporting live in downtown Minneapolis, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.